lot of the street art that I've done over the years was created and with the intent to run parallel to advertising, um, but as an alternative to advertising. And choice of delivery This is God's gift to lift people out their misery I started to become more ambitious with my street art and I needed to finance it. I decided to open a screen printing studio in Providence, Rhode Island where I was living. I built a skateboard ramp in there and I started printing not only shirts for bands but also my own stuff that I could take to skate shops and boutiques and sell. It was a very, very humble operation, but I was able to get some attention for what I was doing. And then later on, I got more organized and started working with the whole crew that I work with now. But that was a, a slow but sure pr progression and a lot of couch surfing and, um, and, and eating rolled tacos. The program was founded in 2007 as an extension of what I was already doing to promote causes I believed in and I've always seen clothing as an amazing opportunity to share ideas. It's a very utilitarian canvas, a t-shirt. And, uh, and not only to promote the, the concepts behind different causes, but also to raise money. So the Obey Awareness Program donates 100% of profits to the chosen causes. We started with Hope for Darfur, which was raising money for the genocide in Darfur. Then we've done things with the 11th hour to Feeding America for their food shelter. We've done things when the earthquake happened in Haiti. I had a friend who wanted to learn how to make stencils, so I looked through the newspaper and found a picture of Andre the Giant and said, why don't you make a stencil of this? And he said, no way, I don't want to do Andre the Giant, that's stupid. My response was, what are you talking about? Andre the Giant's going to be taking over. thing you know it had started to become this underground phenomenon where people that I didn't even know came up to me and said hey do you have any of those under the giant stickers and it was like a, a subcultural secret handshake <laughs> through hundreds of pictures on the internet found a photo of, of Obama that I thought was a good source and illustrated it and had it in production as a poster the very next day I think that my role within Obama's campaign was to provide a portrait that gives a human connection. It's not just a logo, it's not just a word. I think when people identify with what someone looks like, um, the association to all their actions, all of Obama's lofty rhetoric, his, his way of speaking, his gestures, um, there is an instant connection to that that I think is extremely powerful. 